So they got caught in a storm on the lift. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm here with the founder of the Southeastern and now South Open Dance Board Championships. 44 years. This You've, is the 45th. This, this is, is the, the 45th. 45th. Mr. Larry Dean. When we first started in the dance competitions, we called them the Olympic. We called it the National Dance Olympics, uh -huh. the Summer Dance Olympics, and this was the Winter Dance Olympics. Holy and so then when we got the championships, so we all got all the championships, I believe in 1975, a few years after. Uh, then we called it the, uh, we want to use the word national, but because we're not allowed to use the U.S. and all that, we uh -huh. called it, uh, we came up with these names, Southeastern States, so, Southern Southeastern, States, That's and right, Florida Southeastern States. States. Yes. yes. But this is the Southeastern, yes. So for, for 44 years straight running this event, yes. what were the biggest complications? As far as complications, we're always, you know, always trying to find the right hotel uh, and the right place, location, location, location. Uh, and of course getting your people to come in and dance entries for you that that's always I think every organizer experienced that now you know so you got to go above and beyond as much as you can and think out of the box to try to get people you know showing up at your events but then all of a sudden uh, other organizers are seeing what you're doing they're grabbing oh, oh, that yes see, you know you could say you know you could be angry about that or you could take it as uh, what, an honor that somebody is following some suit that you're doing yourself all these years and there's many and many people that run competitions a day uh, most all of them uh, that have danced at our competitions or competed and learned from that and I'm glad and so that's very competitive as you know a lot of a lot of uh, competitions with lots of interest going on nowadays like matter of fact uh, this event with the other two in the beginning there were 19 championships in North America and we had three of them what 19. was the biggest amount of entries that you've ever had at this specific event at this event 6200 and I believe it's at the Ritz Carlton about five years ago so we like to go you know to those four and five star hotels yes right? yes so, yes uh, we were there for two years but the Second year in, we had 6,200 entries. Now we're at Renaissance. Yes. So before it was in a different hotel, was it? Yes. Oh, it's been around. Southeastern's got a good history. You, you didn't believe this. And when you talk about Southeastern, Mississippi, the Beau Rivage for five or six yeah. years. We were in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Oh, wow. For, uh, four or five years. We were in uh, Puerto Rico, El Conquistador, Puerto Rico. So you, now that's Southeastern. And, that, and very Mexico much so. Mexico City. Mexico so City. Travel, and of course, all over Florida. You know, we've of been course. in Orlando, we've been in Miami with this event. So it's a traveling competition. It's not buying it's right, to one place. Is. Well, now it's hard to travel because of the rules of the council. That's but right. In those days, they weren't that many, so you could move it if you needed to. Do you like the changes that SIT is doing with oh, the comp oh, right now? Oh, yes, definitely. You know, they have to. You have to make it your own. And, and you know, he's very, he's a, such a gentleman, and that's. When I was selling the events, I'm, I look for that. I look for the people that I admire and know that they're going to do okay with it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a few fires we had to put out, but he's so uh, accommodating about wanting to do it right. He's gone way and uh, beyond and above to, uh, you know, make this thing important. And I know he spent some money to do that, and I hope he gets great support. And I'm there to make sure that, you know help as much as I can with it. So what was the most memorable moment out of these 44 years for this specific event? For this event. I, I think maybe when I went to San Juan, it was interesting because I was in another country with this event thinking, oh, from America first there. And I remember the El Quistador uh, Hotel was for millionaires. It was like, a, it was built in a cliffside. Beautiful waters, you look outside, you know. They have a lift that goes up and down. So my pro show at that time was Larry Bruzard and Mary Ellen Lacey, and they were the United States uh, theatrical champions. So they got caught in a storm on the lift. And when they finally got off, this is what I have to tell you, my, I hired great door people the guy on the door wouldn't let him in. They were standing there for the show, and they said they need a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> now, that had to be memorable. Now, I, I don't care who you are. You got to have a ticket. <laughs> it was 45 years. 44 for Mr. Larry Dean, and now Sid Posius is uh, taking over for the 45th anniversary of now South Open Dance Board Championships. Larry? Hope to see him next year, too, because this guy deserves it. He's doing a beautiful job. We hope to see and you next year. Come on pleasure. over next okay. year. We're, we're looking forward Always to seeing you. To see you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.